Chris Patak with Card Concepts, and today we'll be going over the various steps on how to install a fast card or flex reader onto existing laundry equipment. This instructional guide will cover tapping power from the machine for the fast card or flex reader, establishing a serial connection, installing the necessary mounting brackets, and connecting and mounting the reader to the machine. First, understand that power for a fast card or flex reader is pulled from the machine directly. Locate the power terminal block, typically found near or at the rear of a machine. This can be identified in a couple of ways, the most common being where the labels L1, L2, and or neutral, and the ground symbol are posted. This may also be where the machine's main power cable would feed into. With the machine already completely powered off and unplugged, attach and clamp down a spade tap onto one L1 or hot wire, and one L2 or neutral wire. As you are only tapping wires, be sure not to unintentionally sever the wire completely. Once clamped, simply insert the spades into each spade tap. L1 or hot, and L2 or neutral, can be interchangeable with the power converter. Once attached, mount the ground fork terminal into the ground screw. In this example, the ground screw was underneath the connector. Remember to reattach any connections that were removed in this process before powering a machine back on. Now that all three wires are connected or mounted, feed the power converter harness through a safe exit point to connect. With that, you will have successfully tapped power. With that said, find a decent place to mount the power converter and secure in place. This example uses zip ties, but any non-interfering solution may be feasible, including any existing wire mounting already present in the machine. Once you have your mounting solution and wiring sorted as you see fit, feed and connect the reader end of the power converter out to the reader power harness itself. Make sure there is enough slack for the reader power harness to reach the fast card or flex reader to connect without any unnecessary cable tension. In some cases, such as large chassis machines, a power extension cable may be necessary depending on how and where you wire and anchor down, which you may contact your distributor or CCI directly for more information. For connecting the serial harness, find and locate the RS-232 port on the front control board in the machine. Disconnect the existing connector in the RS-232 port and connect the CCI-provided serial harness. When connecting the serial harness, ensure that the wires of the connector feed out in the same direction as its neighboring existing wires. Depending on when the mounting hardware was obtained, one of three mounting solutions for card-only brackets may be utilized. If your kit came with a chase nipple, you may choose to only thread and tighten the chase, or use both a chase and your choice of 10 30 second screws to reinforce the bracket, which this example uses. If your hardware came only with 10 30 second screws, you would need to tighten both screws down to the bracket to secure as no center chase would be included. Regardless of available selection, once the bracket is ready, slide the mounting bracket in place. The bracket should sit nearly flush to where the coin drop and vault were previously installed. With the mounting bracket in place, secure with the provided mounting nuts. Ensure the mounting nuts are well secured in place to prevent any loosening from machine vibration over time. Next, you will feed the power and serial harnesses through the center chase for connecting to the reader. Make sure there is enough slack to connect to the reader, but not too much slack to where the reader will not mount properly. Once the power and serial harnesses are connected, guide the top tabs of the reader to the top groove of the mount and neatly wedge into place. To ensure correct positioning, check to verify that all four sides of the mount are now covered by the reader. Finally, Secure the reader down with the T15 secure torque screws included with the mounting kit. And with that, we have reached the end of this guide. If this guide was informative, feel free to give it a like, and subscribe to CCI's YouTube channel for more videos. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next video.